Hey there, and welcome to this week's tutorial in which we're going to uh, simulate rain. Um, and, uh, well, since we can't do rain in real life, not yet anyway, if you know how to create rain, please mail me um, and I'll post your image up on the website or something. Uh, well, this will be done using Photoshop only, no plugins whatsoever. Okay, well, let's start. Create a new layer by uh, clicking this icon. I've already created one. And go to Edits and Fill and use black as the fill color, like this. Okay, now go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise in the amount of 400, well, max. Um, it doesn't really matter uh, what kind of distribution you use, either it would be uniform or Gaussian, doesn't uh, really show that much of a difference. Well, what you have to do is make sure that monochromatic is switched on. Either way, uh, that kind of looks like a really bad TV signal. Well, make sure monochromatic is on and click OK. OK, now go to Filter, Blur and choose Motion Blur. And play with the angle uh, to set the uh, angle that the rain will be falling and make sure the distance is not that high. Well, it really depends on the uh, resolution of the image you're working on. Mine isn't that big, so the distance of 30 should be fine. Okay, now bring up the layers, sorry, uh, levels dialog uh, by hitting Control L like this and bring up the levers together. That's starting to look like rain now, isn't it? That's nice. Hit OK and change the blending mode to screen. Voila! Now, uh, the image that is in the background doesn't really um, look like uh, it's taken on a lousy day, a lousy weather, so we'll use the levels command again. This time drag this lever to the center until a result that is satisfactory pops up. That kind of looks like a shitty weather. No, doesn't it? Hit OK. And uh, we have to uh, crop the image to get rid of the uh, blur that, uh, it, that doesn't really look like rain. And just use the blur tool here to make a selection, double click, and we have a really believable rain. And if it's not believable, you can play with the opacity, kind of, I don't know, 50% maybe? That looks okay too. Well, um, this concludes this week's tutorial. Um, if you have any feedback, go to the forums on lumbergar.com and, well, tell me what you think. And till next week, have a nice time. Bye.